All right, and we are back. Thank you so very much for staying with us. Kuna mtu pengine amekuja sahii anadhania tuko go down. Tuko go down. This is electronic waste that if it's not disposed correctly, it poses a lot of challenges to the environment and also human health. Now we're here with Joyce Ruto who is the manager from We Center and two things. Amesema ata tusiweke. Mhm. Mm Iyo te, iyo technological device, your equipment kwa nyumba. Mm, right? Like kuitoa, e, uko na sentimental attachment. This I bought when I got my first job. I was gifted by my mupens. Eh, kuipeana. What is the challenge of holding it in the house? How will it affect my health? Yeah. So when you hold electronic waste, remember these gadgets are still emitting. And you know, when we are in our homes, normally we cook and, and there's a lot of moisture. So what happens when you hold your e-waste and uh, these batteries start leaching? Because most of the time when you, when you have a remote and it's not working, what, what happens? You remove your remote, you remove the battery, you start chewing on it. You give it second life. Mm. You are you are good to go. Mm. But then, uh, um, the the when lead gets into your system, that's where now the story changes because um, it has been associated with kidney failure. Um, also affects the liver. Uh, mercury is really bad with uh, brain damage. Mm. So when normally we have kids playing with this stuff, you know, um, or these gadgets that have gone obsolete. So when they die is when you give your kid to play with it, which which is really bad. And I think um, when you uh, electronic waste in terms of research has has shown um, it has a serious implication on human behavior. And even when we are on phone all the time, you wonder. This generation, we have different kind of, oh, we have this complication. It's because we are spending so much time already on, on electronic uh, devices or gadgets. We are already on our phones all the time. And it has, research has shown that it has um, uh, effects on human behavior itself, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So when, when we are thinking that we are holding them for, uh, for sentimental value, mm -hmm. it's, it's actually a slow killer. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't advise. Wow. Nam, uh, uh, mimi bado nimebaki kule wakati ninataka nina electronics ambazo ziko kwa nyumba. Mhm. Mm Procedure ambayo inahitaji sasa ni kufikia ili uchukue mm -hmm. gani. So uh, we have collection points. Mm -hmm. um, different stores have uh, the collection bins in front of the stores. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, different petrol stations that have the bins mm -hmm. uh, where you can drop off, but also like you can just uh, go to our website and, and contact us. Mm -hmm. We'll come and collect the electronic waste that is bulky mm -hmm. uh, because we do collect e-waste from offices. We also collect e-waste from individuals. Mm -hmm. So we, we serve corporates. Um, uh, individuals, even for corporates, if you're worried about your data, we have safe mm. uh, data destruction because most of the time you want to hold your things because of the data that you have. Mm. Uh, we do data destruction. We also do um, a lot of training. You know, awareness is really key. Mm -hmm. If if I don't know something, then my journey does uh, really needs to start from there. Mm. And yeah. I feel like that's one of the biggest gaps because it's barely talked about. E-waste is barely talked about. Even when you go to schools, it's like what they know is recycle your plastic bottle, yeah. recycle that polythene paper bag that you're not using anymore. Mm -hmm. But we are not talking about recycle that remote or dispose it correctly. Yeah. So what do we do to make sure that we feel that gap because at this point that gap is very big, yeah very very big yeah. what's happening in that sector of i mean awareness creation and not just for the people in the urban centers mm. even in communities cool and dani marginalized communities yeah. how is this awareness getting to them yeah and, it, and it's and it's really good the way you've pointed it out um, because it starts with our children um, when my kids go to school, are they also interacting with this material? Mm -hmm. How are they, is it in their curriculum to begin with? Mm -hmm. So these are the channels where we can start putting uh, the curriculum within the education system mm -hmm. uh, to, to teach young children, because they are the custodian of the environment in the future, you know? Mm -hmm. um, when we are, when the electronic waste in our homes gets to, let's say, are overtaken by technology, you know what we do? to napeleka is to shago, you know? And then when they become absolute, because in, in, in where I come from in Kericho, mm -hmm. 
you know, there's no formal garbage collectors to come and collect your stuff. So what happens is that my mom digs a hole mm -hmm. in the backyard mm -hmm. where she's going to plant skooma, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. and then uh, dumps all the electronics. So what happens is that the, the areas where we feel that mm -hmm. they are going to feed us as a country, mm -hmm. they also don't have like formal take back mm -hmm. of dead ele uh, electronic equipment. Look at the solar off grid that is in our rural homes. Mm -hmm. Those are still e-waste um, that they're, they're being generated right now, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So how do we also educate the people in, in the rural areas on how they can manage their waste? Mm -hmm. and, it, and it starts from us. It starts from us, um, just making sure that um, our folks also do not dump those things in the, in the shamba, so that mm -hmm. then gets to the soil, mm -hmm. gets to the food chain, mm -hmm. and then it's fed by cows, and then we also feed, you know, it, mm -hmm. it, it is all a loop. Okay. Yeah. yeah, in terms of awareness. Wakati nina nimefanya makala fulani mtu amegeuza plastiki kuwa kiti. Yes. Lakini hii inageuzwa kwa nini? End game nipatie tu example moja kwa sababu hii kugeuza inapata nini baadaye? Yeah. So the good thing about technology mm -hmm. it's in terms of like adversity and also innovation around it is quite diverse. Mm -hmm. So when you think that your electronic waste has served you and it has served it time, mm -hmm. um, when it gets to the recycling facility at mm -hmm. We Center actually, mm -hmm. it gets through testing, then we see if this can also go through Second Life. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be repaired and then it can go to serve digital mm -hmm. skills learning in schools. Mm -hmm. You think that your uh, MacBook is not working for you, but it can still serve children mm -hmm. who are learning on digital skills, you know? Mm -hmm. That's the first stage, repairability. Mm -hmm. Then if it is not repairable, then we, it goes through dismantling. And our process is um, when we collect a lot of electronic waste, it goes through inventory. Mm -hmm. And then we are able to, to, to actually get the amount of uh, kgs that is being disposed disposed in the facility so that we can see how much carbon we are avoiding in the environment by safely disposing the electronic waste. Like mm -hmm. right now we've disposed close to 10,000 tons mm -hmm. of e-waste. Mm -hmm. And, and when it gets to this dismantling table, we are able to segregate different mm. fractions. Mm -hmm. Now, with the components of electronic waste, you have plastic, because when you look at that uh, laptop there, you can see mm. it has plastic, it has glass, mm. it has metal, it mm. has. Mm. So we are able to segregate them into different fractions, mm. and then it goes through further pre-processing and testing, mm -hmm. which then, if you have the, the, the circuit board, um, it, it, it's able to go through another set of material recovery because mm. it has precious metals. Mm. Um, fun fact, Tokyo 2020, mm. um, they collected 80,000 tons of electronic waste mm. and from the waste they were able to, to create gold medals and bronze mm. for that year. So mm. during COVID they actually collected 80 tons of electronic waste and from mm. then um, they were able to extract precious metals mm -hmm. from, from the likes mm -hmm. and then they made medals right. from the same. So uh, a lot to do with electronic waste. We have opportunities, mm -hmm. we also have challenges. Right. Na uh, sante sana kwa maelezo yako hayo mtazamaji bila shaka kipindi hiki kinapewa udhamini mkubwa kabisa na benki ya cooperative ukipata nafasi ingia katika mashirika ya ukulima ujaliwe mengi ambayo yanapatikana kule utajaliwa pia kujengewa kile tunaita tope chujio au biogas katika shamba lako na vile vile kupewa udhamini na ufadhili unaofaa kupitia kile tunaita milk chillers wewe umejaliwa kuona mifugo basi raha sana jiunge na mashirika ya ukulima fanikisha hilo kipindi hiki kinapewa Dhamini na banki ya cooperative. Right. Great. Um, as we wind up this conversation, Joyce, you earlier mentioned that in Kenya we are only doing less than 1% when it comes to the recycling of e-waste. Mm -hmm. Are there countries that we can benchmark from that are way ahead of the game when it comes to recycling e-waste? Do you have examples? Yeah. Like? Uh, globally, we look at countries like Germany, France, uh -huh. mm -hmm. that have really advanced their technologies. And, mm -hmm. and it's good that we usually have like conversations around right. like summits mm -hmm. to just discuss on implementations of mm -hmm. different, you know, um, innovations around technology and right. e-waste. 
you know, um, right. all that, so that we can also be acquainted and make sure that we are also creating jobs for young right. people here in the country. Good. Good. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. So the next time kuna conference ingine kama hiyo pale Germany, send peke yako. Bebe angalau hata sisi tukaone so that by the time we are talking about this to meona practically in those regions. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much Joyce Ruto for making time to be with us today and shedding more light on the importance of recycling e-waste and the effects that it does have to the environment and to human health if not disposed correctly. Now before we say goodbye, tunakuanga na farm joke hapa. Eh, na leo swali ambao tulikuwa tunauliza inahusiana na hii computer ambayo umetuletea and we were asking what is an astronaut's favorite part of a computer? Tere? Mm. Joyce? Kitauzi? Yo. Space bar. Mouse? Kitauzi ni mouse? Kanya is right. What a mouse in. Uh, right. So I'm saying Kitauzi and you? It's the space bar. Because? Because it's an astronaut, you who know? Who does what? Who is in space. Yeah. <laughs> She got it. <laughs> and uh, hey, uh, 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 I what to today. Uh, 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 sante sana kwa kuja siku ya leo Joyce Chelanga Truto na nashukuru sana kwa mtazamaji kwa kutufuatilia na kamilisha nikisema hivi saliana Mwenyezi Mungu kuboka tutatimiza tutatimiza ndoto tutafaulu sana jina langu ni Emmanuel Terer. All right, thank you so very much Joyce okay. for being with us and anyone who has electronic device that they are not using at home don't keep it there go and drop it in the right collection centers for recycling we'll see you again next week until then have yourselves a fantastic weekend my name is Violeta Ngina goodbye